Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths, where we're having a good time shooting at a Marauder with probably one of the worst uh, bits of ATS Tetris I've ever made, but that's okay, it's for demonstration purposes. And the thing about turrets like this is generally the local weapon controller is nice and snug and safe way down here, either below the turret in the hull or on the turret itself. Uh, just nice, secure, far away from danger because uh, stuff tends to hit turrets, well, on the turret cap. So what can we possibly worry about? Well, uh, this. So EMP is a bit of a bummer in From the Depths, and it's one of those things that uh, if you're prepared for it, it's not a big deal, it's not something worth worrying about. Uh, but uh, if you're not prepared for it, it will absolutely ruin your life. So. One particular realization I had the other day is that I wasn't protecting the local weapon controllers on my turrets very well. I kind of had them in a... Let me show you my default um, turret template. What I was doing was something like this. Uh, just wrapping, just putting a ring of rubber around them. Turns out that's not quite enough. Uh, if you really want to EMP proof your local weapon controllers, you need to completely seal them off uh, with rubber, preferably. Like, honestly, like, maybe any kind of less conductive material will do, something less stone or wood, but rubber is the absolute best, so rubber is what I recommend. So, Marauder, go away for a second, and we're going to repair our friend here. So, we need to demonstrate how EMP works, first of all. So, if you go into the V menu and build more tools, damage debugging, and if you record EMP effects, uh, it allows you to see what's happening. So, say an EMP missile, a big large EMP missile, big and large, and it comes and hits uh, this turret, like, right on the head. So it's got a bearing range finder uh, over here with a wireless receiver, and EMP follows the path that does uh, the most damage, which in practice means following the path of least resistance, which means it's gonna do that, and... where's that gone? It has kind of just uh, done a bit of a loopy-loo around there, and if it hits again, it goes straight for the local weapon controller over there. So, that makes sense. That is understandable. What gets interesting is uh, if the EMP surge comes from below, because EMP torpedoes are a thing, supercavitation EMP APS shells are a thing, and just particle cannons and all that kind of stuff, it's something to be worth worrying about. So, the fun part of or the convenient part, I should say, of insulating local weapon controllers on your turrets, if it's built on the turret itself. If it's, um, just, like, in the hull, you just completely surround it, uh, with, uh, uh, with rubber on each of the six sides. So, top, bottom, left, right, front, backward, and you'll all be good. But, look at the EMP path here, if we hit it off to the side. You'll see it does kind of a loop here in that it has to pass through the actual turret block itself. So, even though, like, there's a heavy armor beam touching uh, all this wood here, not wood, uh, metal, it has to kind of go all the way over here and in there, which is probably a good reason why you shouldn't stick uh, your um, turret blocks directly onto heavy armor beams, because that means uh, they can get up into the turret uh, more easily. But it also means that you don't need to insulate the damn thing uh, from underneath. You can just, you can get away with not doing that. Now as for how you do that, unfortunately, uh, just sticking one extra rubber block in there uh, means uh, that uh, you gotta compromise your Tetris a little bit. This is really, really lazy Tetris, by the way. Let's just repair all. So repair all. And here we have our local weapon controller that is not sealed off at all. Very naughty. So, what have we got here? We've got something like this. We've got something like this. Backspace. And I like to use two meter beams, uh, like so. Like so, and like so. So now it's insulated on uh, four sides, and one more. So, we're just going to do something like this. And since now this little loader uh, doesn't have an intake on it, again, uh, if you use uh, actual better APS Tetris, I've done videos on those, it's saving time, not covering them here. But if you're using 3-clip or 4-clip Tetris, you can just, uh, if you're uh, taking something else like this, you can fill the gaps 
with surge protectors. Because that way, it gets pulled over here, and that's very nice. As for insulating the stuff uh, up here in the turret, that's a little bit harder because it makes your turret a bit more bulky. You might just have to resign yourself uh, a little bit to having to not uh, insulate this. Although, we can see here. Let's see here if we can get away with this. This is going to absolutely ruin. Um, whoops, it did ruin the Tetris over there. Oh dear. Or no, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. We're fine. We're fine. Nobody panic. That's my job. All right, so we do something like this. All right, so that guy is insulated on all sides, but not over here. So let's just do that. Rubber is not very durable, by the way. So you are sacrificing something uh, by trying to insulate, say, your detection, your on turret detection here, and this isn't great. Uh, right here, because, well, that's directly above uh, the gauge snake, so let's just adjust this quickly, and let's do something like this, just to be sure that we're being nice and safe and secure. There we go. All right, so hopefully, oh, except now we need to do that. Damn it. See? Told you it was hard. It's a little bit easier if you hide all the detection, like, way in the turret. But, um, yeah. Oh, let's, let's just do this, and hopefully this will work. There we go. Alright, so now what we've got here is a EMB tower that should be uh, neatly protected. However, uh, there's more we can do here. So here we have a 3 meter beam. It's on, well, it's on the back of the turret here, which is already like a little bit compromised, so you can do something like this and now let's see what happens if the thing gets hit in the head with the lightning bolt all right so that EMP protection right there did not work let's see what did that do that did manage to pass the rubber it by the way 10,000 uh, EMP damage is quite a lot uh, we're going for yeah wow that went straight through uh, that rubber block damn oh no it's because it did that gotcha Let's try that again, but better this time. Do 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 do. Where are we? We. All right. So now this is all not directly touching anything. Let's get rid of that. Nope. Wrong. There we go. All right. So this gets hit in the head. And look at that. It went straight for that surge projector. So it's just EMP proofing in general is just. The bits that are vulnerable to EMP, surround them with rubber as much as you can. Um, probably, I don't actually recommend doing something like uh, this. I really should put the bearing rangefinder like on the back of the turret so that the top isn't compromised. And uh, yeah, same thing for the bottom. Hopefully, let's see here. Has our local weapon controller survived? It has. The little surge protector above it was taken out, and but then that one over there. Uh, survived as well. So lovely. Lovely, lovely. We have successfully EMP proofed our turret and it didn't even take that long. And go away, clear all. So now that we've done that, we can shoot at Marauders again and feel good about it. Marauder, there you go. Turn that off. Actually, shoot back if you dare. So there you go. That's a very quick guide on how to EMP proof your turrets or just EMP proofing in general. Surround the squishy bits with rubber and put surge protectors touching more conductive materials, particularly heavy armor, and that will do the trick quite nicely. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I'll see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.